You cannot not communicate. Now there's a powerful presupposition in NLP. Now when you communicate, and I'm communicating with you now, part of my communication is the words that I say, part of it is the gesturing that I'm using, part of it is the facial expression that you can see, and part of it is my overall body language. So even if I'm listening to you, and I'm not saying anything, there's still a powerful piece of communication coming from me to you as you look at my facial expression, my body language, as I just silently listen to you. So just by listening to somebody else, I'm still communicating. I cannot not be communicating. I don't know if you've ever been in a business meeting where one person around the table is absolutely silent and the impact that they can have on that meeting is absolutely tremendous because people are noticing what they're not doing. They're noticing where they're not commenting. They're looking at the person's facial expression. They're looking at their body language. They're noticing where their eye contact is. They're wondering what that silence means. That silence in itself has a powerful communication. Now, in NLP, we're very interested in the words that people use, but more so we're interested in the body language and the facial expression and the tone of voice that goes with it what we call nonverbal behavior. One of the skills that you will learn to develop on a practitioner training is to have more acuity in noticing and understanding the nonverbal behavior of other people so that you are more accurately able to make appropriate meanings from how other people are presenting themselves to you. And equally so, if you think about your skills as a communicator, by understanding better how your facial expression, your tone of voice, your eye contact or your lack of eye contact, your facial expression showing interest or showing disinterest has a powerful effect on other people. So whenever you're with another person or a group of people, you cannot not communicate. And therefore it's worth knowing how to do it more effectively, isn't it?